Hello, this is Bulma Furstenberg and welcome to the Creative Movie Maker Blog Hub. So you've come here from Marshy Penner's blog and after mine you're going to hop to Laura's blog. And the whole idea of the blog is that a few garden girls are participating in making videos to explain how to use a collection pack. So I chose the Cartabella Hello Again collection pack for a couple of reasons. And the main ones are the colors and the fact that it's such lovely heavyweight cardstock and that it looks like watercolors. So I think it fit my style and I just absolutely loved it. I decided to go with fall or autumn theme as it's that time of the year. And I decided to use in, uh, my the papers to make embellishments. So here you can see I'm using my paper trimmer and I'm cutting four papers in three inch strips. And keep the cutoffs because you're going to use it again in some project. And now I'm laying it down on my Silhouette Cameo mat. And you can see, um, there you go, I just cut a couple of leaves using my Cameo. And the reason why I just put the strips down is because I'm lazy so then they cut it cuts all of them at once so i have the same leaves in different colors and the leaves that i use the silhouette cut files is just from the silhouette store you can just search for leaves autumn leaves or and and you will find them so that's pretty nice to to work with so but using paper to make embellishments with is one of my favorite things to do. And I think with the silhouette cameo or the die cut sy systems that's available so readily, you know, making embellishments with papers is, is really easy, easy to do. And it saves you time, it saves you money. So I just love to do it. You can see that I use the dark piece of paper to cut out the title fall is in the air which is also a silhouette cut file and now I'm going to start to compile my embellishments now I have two leaves they're not real leaves but they are fake from Michaels and I wanted to include them just to give that little bit of authenticity to the page and also I went to Europe for workshops and I made cards for some of the helpers and I wanted to use something that's a symbol of Canada because I'm a Canadian. And this is from leftovers from that bunch of leaves. So I'm using glue, white glue to stick it down. And now I'm just going to start piling the leaves. And the idea comes from just the pile of leaves that you see this time of the year. And it's, as you can see here, is before I stick anything down, I just decide where it goes what. And you can change things up, you can layer them differently. Um, I like to do it this way. Um, I think digital taught me this is that anything and everything can be moved and moved around before you adhere it in a final way. Also, when you, when you layer something and you like it, you can take a photo of it with your cell phone before you take it apart to adhere it. So that works wonderful. So I'm going ahead with my hot glue and I'm just going to add a touch of hot glue to the leaves and then just layer them, put them down. You can see I use the other side of the paper and it's the beautiful polka dots. So that's nice. I'm changing that leaf as well, the position. And also using the sticker sheet and just adding a couple of stickers. And that gives that splash of color to it. So I absolutely love this collection. 
So right now autumn is almost gone. Today we had our first little bit of flurries and snow here in Saskatchewan in Canada. But fall is probably my favorite season of the year. I love the warm days but the green grass and the yellow leaves. And it's so amazing coming to Canada to see how distinctly the the seasons change. In South Africa where I grew up the fall and spring is such short it's literally a day or a week and then you're into summer or winter so that's why I love fall so much I'm just continuing layering my embellishments and you can see I'm adding hot glue to my title and that's an awesome way to adhere die cut letters or words is with a little bit of hot glue. You can also lay down a strip of hot glue and add your letters or words on top of that. And, and I've just found that that helps very much. Or it's easy to do that rather than to try to put double-sided tape on the back end. And you can see I'm just using a pin or a needle to make sure everything is adhered. And just looking for that special place for every little embellishment. Working with black in a page like this is also one of my favorite things because a little bit of black makes it just pop off the page. And that's my eldest girl Tia. She's 16 years old and I'm not really using hot glue at the back of that picture you did not see that those little flowers are from Maggie Holmes her new collection flea market and I just found they give a little bit of dimension and and it makes it interesting and also those little bows I love the, those little bows and I'm looking through embellishments pack from Maggie Holmes and dear Lizzie her polka dot party just to add some embellishments and you can see how I just place it and if it works it stays if it doesn't work it goes and that's more or less my process okay and now I'm gonna I want to add some gold splatters but I want real gold so I took paint and now I'm just adding acrylic paint, gold acrylic paint, and I'm mixing some water with it. You can see it's nice and watery. And now I'm going to drip it with my big brush paint, um, paintbrush. And this paintbrush is one of my favorite things in my whole scrapbook room. Because you can see it makes perfect round splatters. And now I'm going to just layer with um, paint. As you can see, if the paint doesn't drop off the brush, it's still not thin enough. So just add a little bit more water and the, the, it's a little easier. You want to cover your picture maybe with a little bit of paper towel or a cut of piece of paper. Just to make sure that there's no paint ending up on it. And basically what I'm doing now is layering with ink splatters. So I'm using gold and I'm going to use another color as well. And this is the Studio Calico Mr. Yui and it's a black, I think, or the pinstripe. So I'm putting the brush right into the bottle and letting it drip. And again, I think covering your photo there is a very good idea. I really can't believe I didn't do it. 
and this is basically my page and the only thing that I forgot to add <laughs> before I photographed it was to add my journaling but given I was in a hurry um, doing final preparations to go on holiday so I do apologize for that but I did add my journaling and this is the page so thank you for watching my short video on how to use a collection pack and now you have to hop on to Laura's blog and you can find information um, on my blog or in the description and I will see you soon sometime and somewhere online.